Hello and welcome to the ITG Center Time Tracking Tutorials. My name is Hope Johnson and I've been working with the Project Management Office and the Training Group to bring you these tutorials. In the tutorials, I'll be showing you how to use ITG Center to track your time. Time tracking is an important part of the IT Governance Initiative and is critical to the success of the project as a whole. Time tracking is important because it makes your workload visible so others can see when you are available and when you're overbooked. It also helps you and your manager plan work effectively. Finally, it provides visibility and transparency. Senior management is going to be using ITG Center to view metrics and for reporting on the work being done in OIT. So it's important that time is tracked and it's tracked accurately. My part in these tutorials is to show you how to use the tool to record time. Your part is to record your time and do it accurately. Now I'll go over the topics covered in these tutorials and how they were recorded. The ITG Center topics I'll cover in the four tutorials are personalizing your dashboard, creating timesheets, approving timesheets, and managing your calendar. In personalizing your dashboard, I'll show you how to organize ITG Center so you can view information in it, information such as projects and tasks and timesheets that are in the tool. In creating timesheets, I'll show you how to record your time in the tool so you can create timesheets and record effort towards tasks that you're working on. This is an important part of the IT governance initiative, so hopefully this tutorial will be helpful to you. In approving timesheets, I'll demonstrate the process of how timesheets are approved in ITG Center so project managers and supervisors can review that information. And for the rest of us who are submitting timesheets, we can see how timesheets are approved. And finally, in managing your calendar, I'll show you how to manage your calendar in ITG Center for planning purposes. So this calendar isn't a tool for managing your daily schedule or for vacation sick leave requests. It's just used for planning purposes and is just for ITG Center. So those are the four topics I'm going to cover in the tutorials. A few things about the tutorials. I recorded these at my desk using my PC in Windows and in Internet Explorer since IE is the supported browser for ITG Center. So just think of it as me sitting next to you showing you how to use ITG Center. So I will probably say um a few times and pause and <laughs> during the recordings. Um, for best playback results as you're accessing these, try to maximize your screen and wear a headset. And remember if I go too fast or if you want to review anything you can use the playback controls to pause the playback or to review. So let me just give you a quick example here. So this is one of the videos so I can click play and review these and I can just use the playback controls to go back and forth. So now when I'm showing you things in ITG Center, let me go over to that. So when I'm showing you things in ITG Center, what I'll try to do is just tell you what I'm doing. So I'll say I'm going to the main menu and checking dashboard and personalize my dashboard. But I'll also use this target to zoom in on the area that the mouse is located. I made the mouse a little bit bigger so you can hopefully see it easier, but I'll also use that to kind of point things out. So if I was up here showing you that I was signed in as me, I'd use that zoom again. So that's what it looks like. Now that I've given you an overview of what to expect in these tutorials, you probably want to get started. If you want to start with the tutorials, you can click on the links and browse videos over here on the right or click the view previous or view next buttons up above. If you want to get started in ITG Center before you look at the tutorials or sign into ITG Center while you're watching the tutorials, you start by going to onestop.umn.edu and under the staff tab there's a link for ITG Center. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm here at one stop, onestop.umn.edu, and over here in these tabs there's one for staff. So I'll click on that and then scroll down a little bit under administrative tools 
and there is a link for ITG Center Information Technology Governance and it's actually the title so if you click on that you'll be prompted to sign in and you'll need your internet ID and your M key in order to sign in. 